This video is just going to show you uh, how to do a sinusoidal regression on some data uh, if you don't have a graphing calculator. Uh, so if you do have a TI-83 or 84, I suggest just using the built-in uh, features of that calculator uh, where you can put the data in and then just run a sinusoidal regression. Um, there are several YouTube videos showing how to do that. Um, if you don't have an 83 or 84, uh, then you're going to need to use some other software. And so far, the one that I've found that's the easiest to use is called uh, Graphmatica. So if you go to uh, graphmatica.com, uh, you can download this. Currently, there's a Windows and a Mac version. It also looks like there's a version for uh, iOS devices. Um, and once you have uh, downloaded it, just uh, open it up. And you should get something that looks like uh, this, although uh, you won't see the, the data points. You'll probably just have this right away. Um, what you want to do is go up to the View menu and go to the, uh, it's called Data Plot Editor. And uh, make sure you're on the Data Plot tab. And what we're going to be doing then is just putting in our X and Y values. And there's this nice little button that says curve fit and it will simply try to find a curve that, that fits through that. Um, before I put the data in, I'm going to go to the options menu here and um, I'm going to select sinusoidal. And uh, with the data that uh, we're doing with our project, we're only probably going to have one period, uh, but if you had more than one period, you'd want to tell it more than one period here. So you can see it does a lot of different types of regression. So now I'm just going to put some data in here uh, that's maybe approximately sinusoidal. So maybe I'll start with uh, uh, zero and I'm hitting tab to move between these. So maybe zero, one, uh, maybe one, uh, three. Um, you can see it's graphing this as I put it on here. Uh, so maybe three, seven, uh, and then uh, maybe five, come back five. Six, three, and um, let's do seven, uh, negative one. Okay, so uh, maybe a few more pieces. Eight, uh, negative two, and nine, uh, negative four. Okay, I'm going to zoom out here a little bit. So you can see there's the there's the data that I have plotted, and I'm just going to have this uh, do a curve fit on this, and uh, let's make it uh, let's make everything red. So I'm going to click curve fit, and now it's attempted to fit this uh, sine curve, and uh, the equation for the sine curve. If you hover over the equation at the very bottom, uh, bottom of the window here, you can see it, it's giving me the equation y equals 5.448 sine, and then parentheses it's it's telling me what uh, everything is. So um, that's really all you need to do to figure out a, 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 an equation, a regression equation, given some data. Um, the, the, the process on, uh, on the TI-84 is very similar, although it takes a little bit more effort to uh, put, the, put the points in.